Hello, everybody. Welcome to our Tuesday lunch chat. I'm Sarah Keller. I'm the owner of Not Another Hat, joining you live from inside the store. So if this is your first time at one of our lunch chats, welcome. It's a gray, cold, drizzly day, so you might hear the heat in the background. You also might hear Steve working away, installing the slat wall in the crow's nest, which is our, our new um, addition. So lots of fun things to talk about today. If you're tuning in to find out about the Afghan course that is now open for enrollment, I'm going to talk a lot about that, and I will be happy to answer any of your questions that you might have. Um, and then I've got um, a quick update on some yarns, and I, we've got a trunk show here. I'm going to show you those garments, too. So, um, hello, everybody. Jeanette, is it snowing? <laughs> Put a snowflake. I want to see snow. It hasn't snowed yet. It's been threatening to, and it's just never actually panned out. So, um, okay. First off, just really quick, I am. Um, I want to show you the new hue of the moment colors from Madeline Tosh. These are the the colors that we get each month that are limited edition and releases. This month's color is called Brace for Impact. And I don't have pictures up on the website, but the colors are on the website. It just says coming soon with the picture. Um, but if you like them, then you can order them because I'm going to show them to you right now. And they're beautiful. They're beautiful fall, fall colorways. So here's the DK. This is Brace for Impact. This month's hue of the moment. And here is the Tosh Marina Light. I love how they take the dye differently, but they're both, both gorgeous. So we have kind of like a, a brownish neutral background, light brown, with a little bit of gray to it, some orange and gold specks, and just tiny, tiny, tiny little bit of blue. So really beautiful. They were late this month. Um, they apologized. I got a little worried because they didn't come, they didn't come, they didn't come. So if you're one of our subscribers, your packages went out this morning. Um, apologies from all of us <laughs> uh, for that. So second quick update is we just received our finished sample of the recitations shawl this is a bundle we sell on the website where you can put together your own combos it is the knitted with summer slubbing with um, a mohair either barocco aerial or the tosh impression and liz was kind enough to um knit this one for us and so here it is it is just absolutely gossamer light you can see me through it <laughs> um just feather light, but gorgeous, comfy to wear, and it has really great texture. I'm going to see if I can get, get closer here so you can see the texture. So the slubbin is a nubby yarn, and then the, um, the mohair, of course, is the in-between part. So in our bundles, um, we've got colorways paired up with the slubbin and a matching mohair, and then um, you get the pattern for free. So... Um, it's a really good deal and yeah, yeah, grab one, make one. It's super, super, um, super beautiful to wear. And it kind of is one of those that you could wear all year. The slubbin is a wool, but you know, it's so lightweight. You could wear it all the way around. It's called recitations, the shawl. So, um, yes, recitations. Yes. Um, okay. That was my quick update on that. Should we talk about the Afghan course? I have, <clears throat> it's chilly in the shop. I'm actually enjoying having my Afghan in my lap. This is my OG afghan. I'm holding it. There we go. I don't know how much of it you can actually see. That's just a part of it. Oh, I can see stuff that's stuck in it. It's been in my office for two years, um, mostly on the back of my chair, but then every now and again when I would get it, yes! Um, every now and again when I uh, get cold, I would pull it out and wear it kind of like a big, giant, heavy shawl. My original afghan um, is in a yarn that would be terrible for the afghan. It was in, <laughs> you can see the pills. It's been depilled many times. It's been loved and it's been used. What can I say? But I made this one. This was my very first one. It's ten, over 10 years old. It's probably 13 years old. Um, and it is in Malabrigo Worsted, their original yarn, which is the single ply non-superwash. <laughs> it's just like, why? Is I mean, yes, it was super soft when it was newly finished, but it pills like nobody's business. I mean, it pills if you look at it wrong, but it does. it's still super comfy. I still love it. And obviously it's, you know, it, it was a work of love. So, oh, the pills, you guys, you, you can see these, right? Look at that. 
<laughs> this is not one of our recommended yarns. We don't actually even stock this yarn right now. So, um, <laughs> so I do want to quickly go over the recommended yarns. Now, if you enroll in the course, you get all of this information as well. And um, club members, this is a really big one. Club members get half off, so make sure you use your coupon cord. You can't see the pills? Oh, good. <laughs> Uh, make sure you use your coupon code to sign up for this course because that's a great benefit of being in uh, not another club. So um, this course, it runs for 18 months and the content is released every month. You get a square. It is chock full of techniques. And it doesn't matter if you're already just, you know, really accomplished knitter. I guarantee you, you're going to learn stuff in this course. And so we use technique videos. We have a walkthrough, a video walkthrough of each month's square. I give you some really special charts to follow because the book does not present the charts in a really easy to follow um, manner because of the constraints of edit, you know, of publications and stuff. The charts are like all chopped up in for each square and like little bits of pieces and you're, you're supposed to just put them all together, you know, mentally as you go. I take, <clears throat> take all of that and put them into one solid um, chart for you for each square so you don't have to be pulling from all these different spots to try to knit the square. Um, I love it. All, my alumni are leaving really lovely comments. So if you want to look at testimonials from people who've done this course, um, check out the comments here on this video. Thank you. Thank you, everybody. Um, <laughs> Heidi says, <laughs> not an easy to follow manner is an understatement. It is. <laughs> I'm being kind. <laughs> um, if I had had to make this afghan without my own charts that I created, I probably would have given up. I know I would have given up. So uh, that's one of the things that we do. So yes, we have the video walkthroughs. If there's any new techniques that are particularly interesting or challenging, I give you a video demonstration of those techniques. Um, and then of course we have a Facebook group just for Afghan club members and or Afghan course members. And it includes our alumni, our esteemed alumni, whether they finished or not, so that everybody can support each other and help each other and answer questions, etc. So, um, and we will be having a kickoff live meeting for the new enrollees, and we where we can talk further about yarn selections, etc., and like you know, just expectations in general and the timeline, etc. This course, we are taking signups through the middle of December. Um, and we cut it off then because we have to have enough time to get your yarn ordered because the course will kick off on January 5th. That's when the first square will be released. Um, if you sign up, there is content you can actually get started on. There's information about swatching. There's information on how to read charts. If you're not, if you're new to charts, you'll be a chart ace by the time that you're done with this. By the time you're two months into this course, what, who am I kidding? Not even done. I mean, you'll be a chart ace barely into this course. This will get you over that hump of learning how to read charts successfully. Um, so there's that, let's see, there's um, the basics of cables, and then there's also a little bit of a video on cabling without a cable wheel, so that you can kind of get started on that. It's something that we talk about in the course. So there is all kinds of great um, um, resources, assets, and then of course, you get this when you're done. You get this heirloom, beautiful, beautiful, Aaron Afghan. Um, so yes, it's Aaron Afghan, which means it's full of cabledy goodness. It, you know, these this uh, was originally published as a contest by XRX, and they held a contest for designing squares, and they chose the top winners to publish in the book. And so each square is named after one of the original designer who um, was <clears throat> excuse me selected through the contest. Um, chart Ace, yeah, <laughs> cabling without a needle, like. Seriously, it is next level. Um, I was just, I thought of something and it already left my head. What was it? Afghan. Oh, just, oh, just that some, so many people had such a good time in our last um, version of this, which just wrapped up uh, two months ago. Has it already been two months? Maybe a month and a half ago. Um, we had several people decide to make two of these because each square is totally doable within one month. And the easier squares, you can bang a couple of squares out easily. So lots of people decided after they had just gotten started that they were actually going to make two of these because they would work through their chart, you know, finish up the square, and it would all be newly cemented and they'd be already done. And then they would just be able to 
just breeze right through um, the second square. And so we had lots of people doing them as gifts, etc. cetera. So. Um, so let's talk a little bit about yarn. It does take a lot of yarn, and that's one of the big commitments to this course, because of course, you wanna get your yarn all together, so you have matching dye lots. So you can't really piecemeal this and just get a few skeins as you go, unfortunately. Um, so you do need to order all 4,000 yards of worsted weight yarn before you get going. So we have lots of yarns um, that we're going to recommend. And of course, when you order your yarn through us for the course, you get 15% off and you get free shipping. So lots of really good benefits uh, to ordering your yarn with us. So of course, one of the great classics is, yeah, unless you want multicolor, yeah. Uh, Ultra Wool by Barocco. This is a super wash wool. This would be washable in your, your machine. However, I don't really think this is a project that you would put into a washing machine. Um, maybe carefully hand wash um, on your own, etc., or spot clean. I, I would just be a little daunted to put this project into a machine. Uh, but it is, this one is a super wash wool. So that's, you know, really classic. It's Peruvian Highland wool, 219 yards per 100 grams, etc comes in a lot of colors. Um, now, similarly, its cousin is Barocco Lanus. This one is non-superwash. So um, I actually think non-superwash is a really great option for this project. It's gonna show the cable definition really well. It's not gonna stretch out. Um, and I, like I said, you're not putting this thing in the machine anyway. So why worry about making it superwash? Um, Lanus also comes in a gazillion beautiful colors, including many heathers. Um, if I were redoing mine today, I would be using Lanas. Oh, this is the same, same yardage, basically. Um, two, 219? Yeah, 219 yards per 100 grams. So both of these, I think it's 18, is what you need to order. Um, another option, if you really want to go ultra lux, would be Dream and Color Classy. This is a super wash, but it's merino, and it's a hand dyed. And so this one is gonna be, um, if you're interested in doing this or Malabrigo, those are um, orders we're gonna have to have in by the end of this month because of the turnaround time to get them dyed. But that is definitely an option and it would be beautiful. Um, another wonderful non-superwash option is Blue Sky Wool Sock. And I grabbed these two, these are 150 gram skeins. So they've got 300 and 70 yards each and I already forgot the math in the course tells you how many you need I think it's 11 can't remember it's some <laughs> these are just two colors that I grabbed now you could definitely also use um, colors in the palette of the 50 gram skeins which um, it would just take a lot more skeins but if you had your heart set on a color of wool stock that you like you could totally use that as well uh, I just grabbed these because 150 gram skeins for a project this size is really convenient uh, so, Malabrigo Rios is an option. It's a superwash merino. Um, we're going to be a little more limited in what we can get because of the, their inconsistent <laughs> availability. But we're always happy to check and see what's in the warehouse. And if they've got 18 skeins available, by all means, we can let you know. So, um, you know, if, if Rios is something you'd like to use, let us know. And then Broco Vintage. If, um, if you just need a really good solid yarn that you're not sure how someone's gonna take care of it, etc., this is a half acrylic, half wool, 220 yards per 50 gram, I mean 100 grams. So all of those are great options. Another really wonderful option that we don't have in store, but we do have on the website, is Barocco Ultra Alpaca, which is a 50-50 blend of alpaca and wool, and non-superwash. Um, and we can order that to be drop shipped to you. So that would be another really beautiful option um, for this blanket. Really beautiful. Actually, I'd be tempted to maybe also do that. And they, it comes in beautiful, lovely colors. So, oh, and Julia, yeah, I forgot you're doing yours in Lana. She says it's working beautifully and she's almost done. Woo! -hoo! She hopped on board. She made one back when I did in our original um, incarnation, I think, right? Back at the first one. And then um, she jumped in again when we renewed the course last year and has been working her way through it again. So that's fantastic. Uh, lots of multi afghaners um, Another thing I wanna point out about your yarn choice is you don't, don't wanna go too dark. Uh, you certainly can. Definitely medium tones are fine. I mean, you know, this is, this is fine. Um, 
you just, even this I think is fine. Both of these I've called medium tones. You don't want to go darker than those though because your hard work would be a little bit lost in uh, the darkness of the yarn. And you want all of this cool, amazing pattern stuff you're doing to show, right? Right. So in the course, the, um, oh, you were in the second class. Uh, Wanda, I think you could probably, hmm, there would be a few considerations if you were gonna do it in DK for a smaller afghan. One of them being that some of these squares actually ask you to repeat motifs a certain number of times to make them work out. And if your gauge is different, uh, you could end up with non-square pieces. You would have to you would have to be aware of that and making a conscious effort to adjust for that as you go. You couldn't just knit them willy nilly. Like the one in particular I'm thinking of is the tree. Let's see if I can find it. A tree. Oh, here it is. Okay, so like this one for instance, it goes through a certain number of repeats to get all of that in there. And if your gauge was smaller both directions, um, but not at the perfect ratio, then what could happen is that you would end up with, look at there's a pill right there. You could end up with, say, like a taller square than it is wide. Um, but that's not to say it couldn't be done. You would just have to, to be very conscious of that, and um, you could still totally do the course and choose to do that in DK and, and work your way through it that, you know, with that in mind. Absolutely. Um... Oh, so yeah, the, the book itself contains 24 squares. Yeah, 24 squares. In class, in the course, we cover 18 of them specifically one by one. Um, and we cover the border and assembly. And then we batch release the last six at the end for you to choose two squares to complete your blanket because the blanket is actually 20 squares. And then the book talks about that you could make um, two decorative pillows using the other four squares, seaming them together, etc. So we don't cover six of the squares, but we do provide, like in depth, but we do provide you with charts and notes for those six squares. So we don't leave you totally out to dry on it, but we cover 18 of what we consider the most instrumental, most, you know, solid. And you, by the time you're done with your 18 squares, those last six, there's nothing in them you can't tackle. Um, so there is, um, it's up to you exactly how to customize your Afghan. And there are some people who will like say knit one of the squares along the way. And then in looking back decided they really didn't care for it, which is fine. Um, and then they decided to do an additional of the six to fill in and they took the other one out. Um, so it's totally, totally up to you. Um, and everybody's just looks a little different because the way you arrange your 20 before you assemble them, it's all unique to you so that's that's the fun part of this um i can't see a ton of comments i'm going to try to just scroll a little bit and see if there's any questions um that i have missed julia if you see a question i've missed um just pop it back in at the bottom it doesn't look like i've missed any um any direct questions yet so yeah um, if you think of a question and you're watching this, um, on replay, then just send it to us at customer service, not another hat.com. And we will get right back to you. We have a blog post up. We have actually two blog posts up this week. One of them gives the lowdown. I mean, it is more information you ever needed than you ever wanted to know about this course, but we try to answer all of the questions. Um, and we give you information on the materials, information on the timeline, like, we get we, all of it is in the blog post. Um, and then we have another fun one. If you're not sure if you think this is right for you or not, we have a little quiz. So you could take the quiz and see if you're ready for this course or not. And let me just tell you though, unless you learned to cast on yesterday, you're probably ready for this course. So, and it will take you to the next level and beyond for real. Um, we have so many great testimonials from people who've taken this course and we'll be publishing some on Facebook, etc. throughout the enrollment period. Um, but people are always amazed at the progress that they've made. Like they, it's hard to see as slowly as you go and you go and you go. But then when you look back from the end to the beginning of where you were when you started, everybody is always impressed with their own self-improvement. 
So um, one thing I just, the last thing that I want to remind everybody is because this is such a long course, it only opens every two years. So this is it, this is your chance. If you have seen people talking about it, seen them working on it, referencing it in our videos, in our Zooms, whatever, this is your chance. Cause it, once it's closed in mid December, it won't open again for another two years. So don't miss out. Um, also, if that price looks like it's a lot, we do have a payment plan option. Um, so you can sign up for 249, which when you consider it's 18 plus ish months of content, that is absolutely a deal. But if you'd rather, you can also sign up for 1599 a month and pay monthly instead. So, all right. Um, it is a great Christmas gift. If you need a suggestion, someone could sign you up and all they have to do is sign up and then send us a little note that says they're signing you up and we will wait and not notify you until after Christmas um, and so that you can be surprised. So, great idea, Julia. Um, okay, let's do the last thing, which is trunk show. This is the Dolce trunk show from Barocco and Dolce actually came out last year and I think I signed up for it just because I really still like the yarn. I actually don't really remember, so um, <laughs> we're rolling with it. Oh, this is super cute. Is this knit or crocheted? Knit. This is Odette. This is really, really cute. Dolce is a soft, brushed alpaca blend. And this little vest, oh, this would be so cute over the dress. Oh my goodness. It is super, super soft. I absolutely love it. I have just started a sweater in it, and um, I don't know if it's in this trunk show or not. It does, doesn't look like it is. Um, Julia, what's the name of our <laughs> sweater? Um, Julia started it already. She's almost done with the yoke. It's a yoke sweater that has color work, and um, oh gosh, I feel like it's on the tip of my tongue. She'll find it. She's good like that. Anyway, um, I got the ribbing of the neckline. <laughs> I've really screamed through it. <laughs> I'm going to buckle down here in just any minute now. But anyway, it's lovely to knit with Dolce. Um, and it has this really subtle kind of color um, melange, I guess you could say, to it. This this cardigan here is Layla, L-E-Y-L-A. And it has a really cute little cable and bobble pattern. Just a really great basic V-neck cardigan with cables bobbles. Oh, it's so soft. It's such a lovely yarn. This yarn to me, Chiara, Chiara, C-H-I-R-C-H-I-A-R-A. Thank you. I knew you'd find it. Um, this yarn to me really feels buttery when you knit with it, if that makes sense. Um, the, it's just the hand is lovely and the colors, they added colors this season. Really, really beautiful. My my Chiara or Chiara is like a charcoaly kind of gray with greens, um, a light green and then a dark green. And it has some iridescence. Absolutely, yeah. Oh, I remember this one. This is um, this is a pullover with a little ruffly bit. Um, I think it's attached after the fact. I wouldn't. I can't swear to it, but you could leave it off. I think really easily leave it off. This is called Violet. Oh, that's appropriate. Oh, there's got a name that makes sense for once. Um, I love that this has the cable motif down the outside of the sleeve as well. Oh, it's just so freaking soft. It's this one's really drapey. I love it. Um, if I didn't have this, if it didn't have this um, ruffle, I would, I would wear this right now. This is picked up. I think I can see that it's picked up. So you don't have to put the ruffle in the front. It's picked up and added on. Yeah, that was that was a trend that didn't go anywhere. <laughs> oh, you know what? I forgot it was 50% cotton. That's crazy. Huh. Um, thank you. Julia just added in there the fiber content. It's 50% cotton, 20% nylon, 16 alpaca, 14 wool. So really actually an all-season yarn, even though it's kind of a brushed quality. That's it's it feels so good. This is, I think, a shawl. Yes. Oh, it's crocheted? No, I don't think so. Hold on. <laughs> Déjame ver. Uh, no, this is knit. This is called Arlene, A-R-L-E-N-E. -E, and it's got a really nice kind of almost waffle texture. And 
Yeah. Really, really beautiful with some fringe. Just a nice big stole. Wrap it over your shoulders. Uh, oh, that's, that's good. I like it. I like it a lot. All right, everybody. This has been a marathon. 25 minutes. I don't usually talk this long. Um, thank you so much for tuning in. And again, if you have questions about Afghan class, um, just shoot us an email. We are happy to answer them. And I hope that you'll be able to join us if you haven't already taken the class and get to know the ones who have taken it in our group. So everybody have a lovely week. And next week we are going to be showing you some fun stuff. We have a uh, Della Q trunk show of bags to show off that you will be able to order and have drop shipped straight to you. So that is going to be really, really fun for next Tuesday. So I'll meet you back here. Same time, same place. Bye.